Hello, I'm Christine Moffitt, president of the Oregon Coast Music Association. Since its beginnings, our music festival has celebrated the scenery and creatures of our beautiful Oregon coast and featured these images in posters and promotions. I'm here today to talk with Susan Chambers, photographic and watercolor artist who created our 2020 festival image. We were able to premiere this image briefly for our community in February at the Winterfest, but with the COVID restrictions and cancellation of our planned programs for the rest of the year, we never got the chance to share this watercolor widely. Susan, tell us a little bit about your own background and your inspiration for this image. Okay. Um, thank you, Christine, and to the association for asking me to do the art for this year's poster again. Um, truly an honor. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm a watercolor artist uh, based out of Hughes Bay. Um, I grew up here and I grew up uh, down, you know, visiting the beaches, visiting the bays, visiting all the creatures in the tide pools. And um, I now work for the West Coast Seafood Processors Association. Um, some of our members uh, are in Charleston. And so I'm surrounded by seafood in my day job and in my spare time. <laughs> um, but I really do enjoy all the, all the wonderful critters out there from you know, the smallest ones that I can see in the tide pools to the big blue whales. It's just a, it's a wonderful environment. And needless to say, octopuses are some of my favorites. Um, as you can tell, I got my octopus t-shirt on today uh, by one of my other favorite artists. Um, anyway, that's a little bit about me. So about the poster, um, Octavius is back this year. Uh, featured him on the poster the first year. He was an octopus that was at the Charleston Marine Life Center and was released. So uh, this year I'm thinking he's probably found some friends out on the reef and he's playing a duet with uh, Tucker the Tiger Rockfish and Clarence the Crab, Dungeness Crab, is conducting. Um, the title of this piece is Tucker and Octavius performed their duet, The Solemn Sounds of Sunset Bay, Clarence Crab Conducting. And it's, um, I named Tucker the tiger rockfish, one of my favorite rockfishes. Um, I named him Tucker after my family's dog who passed away over the summer, because uh, I, was, I was thinking about him and I like alliteration, so Tucker, tiger, you know, kind of fit. Um, and Octavius, of course, is the octopus from the Charleston Marine Life Center who was featured on our first poster and he got released. And so I imagined him finding new friends out on the reef and you know, playing instruments and joining in on the fun. So seeing as how Tucker's fins don't quite reach the slide, I figure Octavius has nine brains. He can probably handle that and you know, play his stringed instrument and follow what Clarence the Crab is doing in, as far as conducting. So that's what I imagine they're having fun at and having a good time. So there's one other Easter egg in this poster and uh, Octavius is holding two tickets to last year's uh, unveiling, uh, poster unveiling and concert. And the story there is um, I was so excited and nervous about uh, the poster unveiling and getting there on time and, you know, everything. It was a cold February, snowy, icy day. One of the few days we get snow here. And um, I was nervous about getting the art in the car, getting my parents in the car, uh, Christine and the association gave me two tickets so I could bring my parents. And I was so nervous about all that. I got them in the car. I got the poster in the car. I got my dog in the car. Got me in the car. Drove down there in the ice and snow. Got everything unloaded. And I left the tickets at home. 
So Octavius is not going to let me forget that. <laughs> so those tickets are left over from last year. But that's a little bit about the poster, and I hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you so much for sharing this story with us. And as a reminder, we will be featuring this in 2021 as our image and hope to share it more widely. Thanks again. Cool.